Okay, this is sort of, but not exactly like your basic bench bleed setup works. I've got a, a line from the front and the rear brake, uh, and I'm going to fill up the reservoir with brake fluid, and then I'm just going to take a screwdriver and stick it in the end here and pump that. What it's going to do is going to pump air down into the bottom of the reservoir, um, and I'm going to be basically getting the air out of this. So I'm going to fill this up with brake fluid, pump it with a screwdriver in the end of this until there's no more air coming out. It said to get this level, not exactly level because of the fitting on one side of that, but my thinking is that the uh, high side, if it, basically they want it to be level so you won't trap any air in there, and if the high side is the side with the valves on it, that's more than likely where the air would go. So, I'll see if I can find a place for y'all to sit. Let you watch me do this. Right now when I'm doing this, I'm getting out bubbles. You see the bubbles? That's what I want to do. I'm do this to get more bubbles coming out of it. I think that's pretty good. Now I'm going to uh, plug the end of these lines with some little plugs I got. Put the lid on here, take it over there, put it on the car. I will be putting brake lines on there, but I'll keep the ends of the lines plugged. In the meantime, just so that you uh, don't lose any brake fluid. Plugging too well. I guess as long as these lines stay up higher than the cylinder, it'll be all right. It won't leak that way. this on to here and we'll go put it on the car.